Today we will be discussing natural selection with Dr. Dubin Smarts. Hello, I've been studying natural selection for over 30 years. Wow, that's longer than I've been alive. Dr. Dubin Smarts, what is your favorite species to observe natural selection? I love to study platycorns in the Korean tree environment. Why are platycorns your favorite species to study? Studying platycorns takes a special place in my heart because when I was a youngin, we nurtured an injured platycorn back to health. That's cool. Can you describe to me um, what wild platycorns looked like before an adaptive trait took place? Before the adaptive trait, they had corn sprout in front of their backs with low poison levels. They had blue fur and large bills. They weighed around 600 pounds. My goodness, that's huge. Can you describe to me what a platycorn looked like after the adaptive, adaptive trait took place? The corn from their back increased in poison levels and their bills got much larger. Why do you think this trait became more prominent in the population? These traits became more prominent in the population because omnivorous deer were introduced into the environment. Why did the omnivorous deer come into the environment? Humans introduced the breed and they quickly became invasive. How do these traits help the platycorn survive? The poison levels in the corn have increased, therefore the omnivorous deer don't eat the corn. They develop large bills to snap at a herd of deer when they're getting attacked. Are the high poison levels a new trait or have they always been Have they always been platycorn with high poison levels in the population? There have always been platycorns with high poison levels. However, the tree was not adaptive before the deer. That's why many platycorn had lower levels of poison. As the deer were introduced, the platycorns with high poison levels and larger bills were the only ones that lived long enough to reproduce and pass on the adaptive traits to their offspring. Thank you for explaining natural selection to us and giving us a clear explanation on why this is happening. I am always happy to talk about my favorite species to study. Thank you very much for having me.